There's only a few things that if I see on a menu at a restaurant I go to, I will never order. And meatloaf is one of them. Because I always feel that it's just something you eat at home. And just seems weird to get when you go to any restaurant. Especially when it's this simple and easy. As I'm going to show you today on this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. Alright, to make meatloaf, you're going to start with the meat. Which in this recipe is one and a half pounds of hamburger. To that, instead of doing any breadcrumbs, the recipe calls for three-fourths of a cup of oatmeal. Then you're going to add one quarter cup onion, three-fourths of a cup milk, one egg, three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and the recipe calls for three tablespoons of garlic powder, but I couldn't find any at the store, so what I did was add about a teaspoon of salt and about a two tablespoons of garlic salt that I had. Then add one fourth teaspoon of pepper and then mix together thoroughly. Next, we're gonna let that sit for a little bit while we make the sauce, which consists of one third cup ketchup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of mustard. Then stir that all together. Then you're gonna go and put your meatloaf into your cooking pan and then cover the top with your sauce. And then you're going to put it in an oven for one hour at 350 degrees. And voila, got yourself some meatloaf. How's it taste? Really good. I was a bit surprised that the oatmeal in here didn't make it seem more funky, I guess. Like more pronounced oat taste, I guess, in the meatloaf. But it wasn't there at all. It was very nice. And if you don't happen to have any breadcrumbs and you do have oatmeal, you got yourself a substitute. But that's going to do it for this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you real soon.